Hey there, this is Heather with Autism Chrysalis, and I'd like to talk for a moment about that cycle that we can get into sometimes where we're constantly asking what if and feeling really guilty about things that we genuinely have little or no control over. So sometimes how we get into that is that at some earlier point in our life, maybe in childhood, maybe in adolescence, adult years, we were in a situation that was genuinely bad and there was probably an unequal power relationship. Might have been with a parent, a teacher, a friend, a relationship partner, and you took for the you took the blame for something and it actually did make the situation better, at least on the surface. Maybe they were yelling about something and you said, yeah, I should have done it this way or I should have done that and they quieted down, they stopped yelling, whatever. And at that moment, a part of you learned that this is a tool that works. It makes things better. It gets you out of that horrible feeling. So now, years later, maybe decades later, you're in a situation that might be completely different. That person's no longer around. The circumstances could have nothing to do with that. But that part of you has learned that this is a tool that works and it may, can help you feel better when something bad has happened. And it's leaning into that one tool so hard. It's like that situation where if all you've got is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. It's got this one tool and it's trying to use it over and over. The difference though is that in the earlier situation when you took the blame, the other person stopped yelling. But here there's no one to stop yelling. Taking the blame doesn't actually make the situation any better because there's not a person who can resolve the situation. Maybe it's a health issue, or your beloved pet passed away, or something happened to your kid, and just taking the blame doesn't work anymore. So this part of you starts looping back in on itself. It's like, okay, if I can just find the right thing to take the blame for, then I'll get that relief. So what if I did this? Or what if I did that? Or what if I had known about this? And it keeps generating what if questions, and they become this loop that has no resolution anymore. So. There could be a lot of go things going on, that's just one possibility. But if this is resonating for you, I'd like to suggest one potential way to break free of that loop. And that is basically to help that younger part of yourself to feel safe, so that they're not gonna try and run the show anymore. So this is gonna sound a little woo-woo, I get it. I found this super corny the first many times that I tried this, but it does work. <laughs> Okay, so if you can tune in to that part of yourself that is really just scared and hurt and trying to make things better, can you find that part of you? And the interesting thing here is that usually that part of us, they're not trying to hurt us. They're not trying to send us into these mental loops. They're not trying to do anything extreme, they're just trying to protect us, but they've just got this one tool to do it. So if you can find that part of you, I'm wondering how old that part of you feels. Like, do they feel like a kid, like a six or seven year old? Do they feel like a 14, 15 year old? Was this in your first um, relationship in your 20s? Like, I don't know. If you can find them, it could just be a vague feeling. It doesn't have to be something any more specific than that. Could you talk to them? Have a little dialogue. And could you talk to them in the way that you would talk to someone that you really care about? Someone that you respect and that you wish well. And you could say things like, hey, thanks so much for trying to protect us. I really appreciate it. And you know what? I've got this one because I've got more tools in my tool bag than I used to. I've learned a whole lot since then. And by the way, it's been a long time. It may not feel like it, but it's been a long time since that stuff happened. And I've got so many more tools now. I know how to deal with things better and I'm getting even better than that. So I really appreciate your helping. And I've got this one. I can take care of it. I can take care of us. And it's important to remind this part of yourself that they don't have to go away. They're not getting banished. And you want them to be a part of you. 
you just don't need them to do this job anymore because you can handle it. And they can stick around, they can stay right near you, and they can watch you handling it. And you can talk to them as you're doing it or just check in every once in a while and point out like, hey, look, we did this. It, it worked and we handled it better. And the more often that happens, and the more often they see that you're actually taking care of things in better ways, in healthier ways, the more they'll feel comfortable letting go and so that they're not coming up and trying to run the whole show anymore. And you can keep reminding them that you got this. Look, this thing happened and I took care of it and we're good. We're still here. I'm still here. We're good. So if you try this, I'm curious to see what will happen for you. Um, and I hope that at least some part of this sparked an interesting idea for you, and I'd be curious to hear what that is. You're welcome to leave a comment if you'd like to, you're welcome to keep it to yourself or discuss it with someone that you trust. All right. If you'd like more videos like this, you can click the subscribe button and you'll get other ones when they come out. And if this was good for you, maybe you can press the like button. Totally okay if you don't want to as well. I hope that you found something helpful and that you have a neuro wonderful day. Take care.